most of us use the words uh, pain and suffering interchangeably we replace one with the other and in in often it doesn't matter on one hand but if you can know the difference between pain and suffering i personally feel like you know it really leads to the qualitative change in the way we live what is pain you know if you look at physical pain uh, a physical pain is an instant reaction to a physical injury right you kind of twist your ankle or when you are chopping vegetables you cut your finger or when you are closing a door your finger gets jammed that's pain right that is an injury a physical injury has happened and you instantly react to it you know you kind of scream you shout you kind of moan you whine you know some sounds come out of your mouth the moment a physical injury happens right that's an instant reaction to it and that's something that can't be avoided we can't say we should not be shouting or we should not be you know crying when we are in pain we will do all that so that is the physical pain part of it right so we when an, when an injury happens there's a pain for it right so we can also think can there be an injury and no pain yes you can have an injury and no pain like if you're lying on a surgery table and the surgeon is cutting you up there is an injury to your body but you don't feel the pain because you have been anesthetized right you have taken the chemicals which suppress the pain receptors so you don't feel the pain although there is an injury right but when we look at emotional pain you know how does it come about no matter who you are you'll always have some adverse event in your life you know you will have painful events in your life loss of job loss of a relationship heartbreaks you know loss of property loss of prestige loss of status loss of respect you are going to suffer loss in life and that inevitably leads to an emotional pain and the worst of course is losing someone we love to death right emotional pain is a reaction you will react immediately the moment you are injured you are emotionally injured and how does how do you react you feel angry you feel sad you feel guilty you feel upset you feel disturbed you feel anxious right all these emotions that come about the moment an emotional injury happens to you is pain right that's the expression the expression of an injury is pain right so if that is pain you know and that is unavoidable by any of us then what exactly is suffering just for a moment think that you don't know any language right you absolutely no clue about any language you don't know any words in any language right if you don't know any words in any language how are you going to tell the story about your injury to yourself you know we often recall an emotional injury that happened weeks back days back years back and then start telling stories about that to ourselves the injury happened long time back but still today i can tell the story again and again if you do not have the words to express it how are you going to tell the story yes you're going to have some images but the images are not going to be free flowing like the way the words are free flowing so if you look if you want to understand suffering suffering is nothing but the stories that we tell ourselves about our injuries you know we have had an emotional injury and now we are spinning stories about that it's it could be true it, there's nothing to say that the stories are not true but you carry it into days and weeks ahead you know like suppose there's a physical injury once it heals you just don't think about that physically injury again because you're not having words to again go back and relive that you can't relive a physical injury but by by suffering you know by kind of telling the stories about the injury again and again all you're doing is you're reliving an emotional pain right so reliving that emotional pain occurs because we spin stories in our head we need that narrative in our head you know how did it happen why did it happen and then we want to attribute meanings to it we want to we want to argue with people again in our mind about something that happened long time back we want to put words in their mouth and then we want to say how we could have told them uh, told them off in a much better way how we could have been more sharper in our reactions for something that happened ages ago what essentially you are doing is you are suffering right suffering is because of the stories we tell ourselves about the emotional pains that we go through we never tell stories about physical pains that we go through we always tell stories about the emotional pains so is suffering avoidable absolutely right pain is inevitable right we are going to go through 
negative events in our life we are going to have losses in our life which will cause us pain and we will react it through the emotional manner in which human beings do right but we don't have to suffer you know suffering can be avoided by kind of consciously stopping telling of stories about our emotional injuries again and again to ourselves or we kind of change the narrative about what we are telling right we, we stopped we stopped analyzing emotional injuries when you go on analyzing emotional injuries you're just lead, leading to an overthinking on your part and overthinking is the fundamental aspect of suffering you know you're again and again going back to that you you suffered in emotional pain long time back you are again suffering it today because you are telling the story again today so suffering is something that's very much avoidable and uh, uh, it's not just me who is telling this you know if you look at all the scriptures if you look at all the psychology that comes through if you look at people like gautam buddha and all they've said the same thing you know pain is inevitable for all of us but suffering is optional